Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Life is Strange. All broken. Or maybe it's me. Principal Wells, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Uh. Ah, fuck it. <gasps> I'm sitting my ass down. Nobody can expel me. Okay. Not yet, anyway. Uh, maybe he'll just be chill. He's drunk, right? It sounds like it. Oh, can I confirm? Bottle on his left. Well, almost lost another student, Miss Caulfield. You have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'll have to work on my ninja skills. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Yeah, something tells me I'm not gonna have that good so of dreams. How do I get past him to meet Chloe? Get that ass of gear now, Max, Chloe, I know. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Can we mess around with this little light box or power box or whatever the heck it is? It doesn't look like it. Maybe, maybe there's something in Samuel's office that we can mess around with. Possibly. That, that's my only guess, locked. right? I hope Sammy wasn't around. Alright, Sammy, Sammy, girl stuff? The fuck is this? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Maybe he does. How do you know? What if, what if he does this stuff like off on his own time, Chloe, huh? I mean, Max. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Trying to open up a page and see if that's actually what he is doing. I bet you there will be a couple stuck together, Max. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Yeah, there's nothing like nothing tools. we could do here. Nothing right? Here. Like there's absolutely nothing in here. Huh. Oh, you know what? Wait, wait let me try one thing. Let me get as close to principal the principal as we can. Cause he it did look like he was trying to like finagle the door in. We could possibly do this. See it does he go up? There we go. And we wanna do it one more time. There we go. <gasps> yeah. I know right, right. I have a set of keys on me. Somewhere. Uh, ah, gotcha. Oh, no. I really I wanted to see if I could take that bottle from Max him. The ninja strikes all again. All right, don't call yourself Max the Ninja, though. That's pretty weird. Plus, you can't give yourself an own nickname. Oh, this place looks creepy and eerie at night. Especially with, like, the solar... I don't know, man. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus, God. You can't scary. do that to me, Max! Ooh, yeah. I mean, Chloe, I'm fuck, what? I got the mix up. Ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure on a young girl like myself. Oh, yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay. I'm right. not a girl. I'm just saying and I'm saying that in the role of Max, okay? Let's, let's hear about this chaos theory. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. 
Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Clues? About Rachel or Kate? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Uh, Step Prick. Uh, <laughs> not just them, but of course. See, these this, these choices sometimes are a bit, like, bare. I mean, we'll go with not just them. Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Uh... Uh, let's just say kicking it. Because that's what the cool kids say, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Oh, you, shit. <gasps> you are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping out of the dialogue. Oh, anymore. some lights just went off. Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Uh, there you go. I did it. Because it's gross the way you guys talk. Get out of here. Oh, so the fuck is that? Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this what the hell are these awesome two doing here? Talk to me oh, she's breaking a curfew. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. Uh... Really Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Fucking bitch, she isn't. She? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. <laughs> Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. Oh, well, this scene is uncomfortable. Mark, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. Uh... We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? Fuck you! I don't you. think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors. Uh, what? As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? See, I hope the world doesn't end. I hope, like, a tiny little meteor comes from the sky and only hits her in the head. Enough to, like, render her dead. Only her! Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Yo, anyone that, like, threatens that shit against anyone, like, to say that he offered her favors is fucked Chloe up beyond, like, master. any... You know it. I don't even want to go into it. Let's not do it. False threats like that are not cool, man. Dude. I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. 
You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. Wait, how does she? One more door in our work. That's just done. weird. Like, if if that actually happened, how could I convince her that what we're doing is wrong? Right? Like, I think we need like a code word, like banana, or something like that. Like, re you rewind time and then just like, Chloe, I've already been through this. Banana, and she'll be like, "Oh shit, no! All right, let's not do this." That's what I think. That's what <laughs> that's what I think we need to do. Anyways, let's take a look through. Ooh, the lost and found. A trendy hat. Wow. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. What is twee? I feel like I gotta like look us. this up. Does that mean Samuel is? He's nuts. How to feed your inner animal. Spirit animal. Dr. B. Bracamont. Bracamont? Bracamont? What a weird... I would never want a weird last name that you can't pronounce on your first try. Alright, Chloe. Can you hurry it up or something, you know? That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit. Like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. Yeah. I might okay. as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. And where the hell am I gonna find that? It's a huge office with many crevices. Crevi? Is that like plural for crevices? Maybe. Nothing here. We didn't even search, we just looked. What the fuck? I mean, we can search here. Nothing here. Oh god, welcome everyone to nothing here. Dead end. Oh, never mind. Dead end. Boring. See, what we're doing is we're leaving a paper trail here, you know? We should be wiping Crap. off the metal. What we're doing is we're leaving fingerprints no here. Lee. We have to find another way in. I guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Warren, you busy? Warren? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, bubble I need your He's totally played WoW. Stat. Without naming names, if somebody as had a pally. access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would say open a locked door would you maybe kind of know how huh no i'm just asking for fun thanks science guy. where's the quotes around fun uh, no 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 stay we need you as backup just send the text instructions now yes i'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in oh thanks my god that sounds so lame let's go ape this sucks ass Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got Wait, nothing. here we go, here we go. What about your plan? Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chloride. Together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Wait, why can we do this? Like here's here's my here's my thought process behind this, okay? And I know it's probably dumb. It's just a power used to create chlorine dioxide. Everybody knows that, so you're gonna really try this? Keyword is try. I bow to your wisdom. So here's what I've- let's go back to my own thought, okay? Why don't we just Warren fucking- such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Well, I mean, maybe- well, the security system can't be on, right? Like, clearly we're in, doors are being open, the alarm's not on. We could just, I don't know, kick the door down. I could take pictures, rewind time, you know? Let's do that. Release the crack can. Oh my god, that just happened. It's all mine anyway. There we go. We have ourselves a soda pop. Oh my god. We have so much more. Uh. Yeah. 
Dear Diary, I have the power to rewind time and I ended up on rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and woke up, woke up reaching out to the, the rewind or grab Kate. I remember one of my journal entries were about watching anime characters I wanted to be. Or my dreams of being a respected globe hopping photographer. Or what me and Chloe would be doing when we were finally adults. At least we know how that turned out so far. Chloe's determined to get to the bottom of what's going on. So I've been playing the what would Chloe do, which means blowing off my Blackwell homework to research everything I can find on Kate March, Rachel Amber, and the esteemed Prescotts. It'd be cool. It'd be too easy. Oh, I don't know why I said cool. It would be too easy peasy if they were all connected. But at this point, I think the whole town of Arcadia is connected to the crazy shit. I can already see the story on the National Geographic channel, Mystic, Scientific, or Apocalyptic, the Arcadia Bay Tornado. Shudder. Speaking of fear, I still think about Kate and the sadness in her eyes on that roof. I'm so grateful she's alive. I love seeing the students at Blackwell show their support for, the, for her with gifts and flowers, finally. At least I feel better now that Nathan is suspended. It's good he's off campus for a few days, I hope. And like... I give a shit if the Prescott family sends a team of lawyers after me, please. I doubt, I doubt they would like all the publicity. I doubt their tentacles reach into the rest of Oregon. Not yet, anyway. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past curfew and demand I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of night. I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus after what happened to Kate here. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened to Rachel, if anything. It's funny that even though I think I can just rewind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. If this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be getting set for some serious irony, like I'm going to remind myself out of the existence or something. Can I honestly say that I, I'll have this ability for the rest of my life? Are the tornado, the snow, and the eclipse just hallucinations, or are they genuine prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or blessing? Chloe is alive and by my side, that has to be a miracle, which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke her for you to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I passed by Kate's door and saw all the nice messages from other students. Too bad most of Blackwell didn't care when they passed around the video and bullied her to the roof. Everybody always cares when it's too late. At least Kate will see that people are on her side, finally. I hope I can visit her when it, this all blows over. Maybe that's not a good choice of words. Damn, that was too close. I was doing so well until I got outside of the course. It was Principal Wells, of all people, blocking the way. The one person I least wanted to see. I wasn't ninja enough for him, so yeah, he busted me. But I finally got to see that the gossip was true for a change. Principal Wells was shit-faced. He didn't even try to hide it. In fact, he was a lot cooler drunk than sober. I can see why he's so confused, dealing with Kate's family, the Prescott, and David Madsen. He still acts all suspicious and gives me way too much toot, as he would say. Nobody says that seriously. But I can see that he's under a lot of pressure. So much that he's wasted, he can't even see his keys at midnight. Sure, he was in my way, but he was no match for my rewind power. After all, I had to go and meet Chloe, Bad Max. Even though I was full in full ninja mode, Chloe still scared the shit out of me, which pissed me off considering what I've been going through. Sometimes she's so damn insensitive to other people's feelings. She wants all my attention for her and finding Rachel, and she gets all butthurt if I don't have time for her. Obviously I have time in hand, but I can't stay mad at her for long, and she was so damn excited about having the keys to the, the main building, and honestly, I was pretty amped up too. Oh my gosh, she, how does she have time to write this all? Even more so when we met, we went to the front of the building and spied on Victoria talking smack about me, shocked, and worse, actually trying to blackmail Mr. Jefferson to pick her photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. She is freaking unreal. I give Mr. Jefferson major respect for telling her to get lost even though she deserved to be expelled for pulling that crap. This is her priority after what happened with Kate? I just don't understand Victoria, no matter how I try. She's always rich. She's already rich, pretty, and a good photographer. Why try so hard to hurt so many to manipulate everything already in your favor? I just hope that not what I am doing with my... I just hope that's not what I'm doing with my rewind power. 
Yes, there's something incredibly awesome about breaking into your own school at the witching hour. Although Chloe was technically right, how could we break in with a key? Never mind. That it, uh, never mind that it was stolen from her school's head of security. Anyway, the Blackwell Ninjas strike again. So what we need is we already have the where is private number? Feminazis, blah 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 blah. Wait, where is... Where's our boy, Warren? There we go. So what we need, right, was we had... So we need a duct tape, sugar, and sodium chlorate. Still, man. Only three more items to go. Still three more items. Well, here is where we'll definitely find the sodium chlorate. Thankfully, it's unlocked, too. I'm happy about that. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Chemistry stuff. Here we go. No, this mixture doth not work. Oh my gosh. Uh, science book. So, sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Property, the properties of sodium chlorate and a blah blah is an inorganic compound that is commonly used as weed killer. Toxicity in humans. Wow. So, let's not poison ourselves, at least try not to. Uh, let's see, sodium chlorate, is this You're part an of it? artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. This is so not sodium chlorate, guys, oh my god. Well, here's what I'm thinking, right? Uh, oh wait, there's sugar. There's sugar. Let's take the sugar, that's a Ooh, huge- Sugar. It's a huge box of sugar. You're wait, halfway let's, home, Max. Let's see what this says. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Oh no. Practical chemistry. How the hell am I supposed to trust Warren with this? You still there? Did you blow up? Max? Still here, you did blow up. Not yet. I need to concentrate now. TTYL! Speaking of TTYL, I will talk to you guys later as well. I am gonna end off my second episode here of episode three, Chaos Theory. We have two more items we need to get sodium chlorate and duct tape but until then guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you guys enjoyed it be sure to leave a like because it does help it a lot now talk with you guys in the next episode peace out girl scouts